Oh, that is really well done by St. Maximin. I'm gonna go for goal from a difficult angle. St. Maximin has pulled it off somehow. Still Buendia here. Right foot goes for goal. Oh my god, Buendia. In this episode, he's been phenomenal. We're already in the month of April, just a couple of months away from wrapping up the first season of the Newcastle career mode and big things are about to happen. We've got Liverpool, of course, in the FA Cup semi-finals and we'll probably be not gonna lie, our first season with Newcastle has gone by so quickly. We're almost in the month of April. In a couple of months, we're basically done with season one, which is super exciting. And of course, in this episode, we've got a freaking cup semi-final. Who would have thought we'd be in the FA Cup semi-finals up against Liverpool? And you know what? If we can somehow get past them, I think we've got a chance to win the FA Cup in our first season itself because Middlesbrough and Leicester, I think we can get at them, but we'll see what happens in this semi-finals. We're actually going to be playing Liverpool twice in this episode, so yikes, it's going to be painful, but hopefully we'll come on the good side. Imagine winning a trophy with Newcastle in our first season, that's actually possible, so it's a big episode today. If you're enjoying the series, feel free to drop a like on the video, help the channel grow, subscribe if you're new around here, and let's kick things off. Press conference to start off the episode. Change Callum Wilson's kit back to number 13 as he says that's the only number he wants to wear in real life. So make it more realistic. Um, if that's the case, if like he actually wears only number 13, we'll do it. But can someone let me know the story behind this? There's got to be a story behind Callum Wilson wanting number 13. I did do a bit of, uh, you know, fact checking and well, Callum Wilson did indeed wear the number 13 at Bournemouth as well. So... If there's some reason behind it, you know what, we'll stick with it. So Callum Wilson gets the number 13 back. Next up, sign Joe Willock on a permanent transfer in the summer as his potential is 83 and can be grown even more with the growth plan option. He's been great in recent episodes and that's something I cannot deny. He's been super, pops in occasionally with goals as well. One thing I like about Joe Willock is his energy. I mean, the guy is so energetic in that cam spot, tracks back, goes forward, finds himself in the box really love using him now the transfer option we've got on him is a 10 million sum which i think is worth it because he's valued at 12 million so not a bad deal at all for us but the problem here is guys i'm not entirely sure if we've got the money to make this deal happen because our transfer budget right now is practically nil like zero we've got no money this season so are we allowed to wait until next season to activate the buy option or we're gonna have to do it right now or you know before the end of this season because if that's the case I don't think it'll be possible for us to sign Joe Willick and that's a real bummer. Or else, hmm, I'm confused here. You guys let me know. Is it possible for us to use next season's money to complete the Joe Willick transfer? Or would that not be a possibility? I've never done this before, so I'm kind of confused. Let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, we're going to have to figure something out because... I don't want to let Joe Willock go. Next up, did you notice Shah has gone up in his overall rating? Yep, I have noticed, which is awesome to see. 79 rated. In fact, I think he went up in his overall a fair bit ago. He's now our captain of the team. So I'm really hoping at some point in this series, he can hit that 80 overall mark. Just looks good. Let's hope it's possible, man. But Fabian Shah absolutely enjoy using him in game. With that, press conference done. Buendia is finally coming into his own in this series. Last episode, he scored a few goals. All round performance was superb. In fact, he even scored the equalizer against City. So no wonder he picks up a player of the episode award. Talking about Buendia, guys, I do remember we tried to change his position to Cam. What's up with that? He's still a right midfielder and we have received no updates on that. Well, it's going to take about eight weeks, I suppose, to make him a cam, which is all right, I suppose. Eight weeks and we'll have him as a cam. I think he's going to get a decent um, overall upgrade when we do decide to change that position on him. So can't wait for that. About a couple of months and well, Buendia will be a cam. What about Miguel Almiron? Very keen to see how long it's going to take him as well. Um, about 10 weeks to become a right winger. So not all bad. By the end of this season, we'll have their position sorted. A lot of people in the comments section have been asking me, yo, what's up with the next Neymar? Well, the next Neymar is a fraud. Yep, we just got completely baited, guys. I'm not even kidding. Like, look at this. His potential has dropped between 74 and 82. He's no Neymar, man. He's, he, this is clickbait. When we got him first, his max potential was like 96. He had the skill moves, he had the weak foot. And yep, we've just been completely shafted here. The next Neymar, guys, is a fraud. And we're going to have to try and find more academy prospects. But 
Dylan Miles is at least looking good. You guys have told me to change his position to a cam. That's exactly what I'm working on. It's going to take a bit, but uh, this, this, is, this is fraudulence, man. We just got clickbaited so hard on this. Adriano Enriquez, I'm probably going to release him because there's no point keeping him now. We thought he was the next Neymar, but nope. Just a fraud. Time to get back into some Premier League action as we take on Liverpool for the first time in this episode. We're playing them twice in this one, so yep, it's going to be fun. The first one is in the Prem, where if we win, we actually go above Arsenal in the Premier League, which would be nice. Of course, I think 10th is going to be like the minimum spot we finish this season because of the gap we have with Burnley. But if we can finish 8th, that'll be amazing because that basically unlocks the Heineken deal for us. Well, isn't this brilliant? Fabian Shaw is suspended for such an important Premier League game for us. We won't have him against Liverpool. Big yikes. We've got Conde and Domit starting for this one and that's why Dubravka is captaining the team. Liverpool's injury problems have been fixed. Van Dijk and Matip are back for them. They've got Trent starting, Mane, Fermino, Salah. That's the Liverpool team you just hate to face and well, we're up against them. Let's see what we can do. Anfield is always horrible to visit. Like, there's no two ways about it. The pressure there is just immense, especially with the fans at the stadium. And of course, Liverpool's pressure is so difficult to deal with. And let's not forget, we're going to be playing at Anfield twice in this same episode. And I'm not looking forward to it, huh? Hopefully we can, you know, beat them in the FA Cup. That's my main goal. I don't care what happens here, but in the FA Cup, if we can get through them, imagine how huge that'll be. Here we go, long staff. Oh, pass for Maximin. On the volley, no way. I think he's offside anyways, but that's probably the worst shot St. Maximin's ever taken in his career. Offside by half a foot, maybe, I think. Yeah, probably, but my God, how did Alisson even save that? Incredible. Huh, we shouldn't be wasting our opportunities. St. Maximin had to have timed his run there, you know? Liverpool's defenders are literally playing at the halfway line, I think. Yep, on the break we may get opportunities, but that is if we can defend this Liverpool onslaught. Mane with a big chance and uh, Dubravka makes a big save. He's the captain for tonight. Let's hope we can put in a good show. One thing's for sure, Liverpool are looking for revenge because we did beat them at St. James's Park earlier on in the season. If I do remember, that was our first home win off this CD, so a pretty memorable one. And as I said, on the break, we're gonna get spaces. St. Maxman brings it inside from distance, going for that finesse shot. Maybe I had the time and space to try and bring the ball further, but when I saw Virgil van Dijk near me there, I thought, you know what, let's just go for goal. Buendia looking for that pass for St. Maxman, who's really made some good runs in this one. Still St. Maxman going to curl it in, but again, Alisson with a save. I've got to say, even though Liverpool have had most of the ball, and their centre-backs are practically at the halfway line. It's been us creating the chances, but we haven't made the most of it. And now Salah is running at our defence. Looks to bring it in. Looks for the pass for Firmino. Still Roberto Firmino looks inside for Wijnaldum. We're not letting Wijnaldum score. I know he's just scored so many goals against me on career mode, but not this time as we might be again on the breakaway. And look who it is again, St. Maximin. Ah, this time I couldn't beat the man. Buendia looking inside for Wilson. Oh, that's a good pass for Maddie Longstaff. Go on. Longstaff, please. Oh, my God. So bad. I don't know why I didn't shoot earlier. I just... I kind of pressed the sprint button and he took like a heavy touch. And after that, I just messed things up. We had a chance to actually take the lead against Liverpool in this Premier League game there. And we completely messed up. Oh, it's, it's been a weird first half. I think we've... Had the better chances, Liverpool have had more of the ball. Let's see what the second half brings, but this performance so far gives me confidence for that FA Cup game. Mane, oh my god, that's a brilliant pass. This is going to be undeserved. I think we've had the way better chances. Huh, we just... Shocking finishing in the final third from us has cost us. As Liverpool get the lead in Anfield, it's Wijnaldum who goes and celebrates with Klopp. It's of course freaking Wijnaldum, it's just hit me, man. He always scores against me. I'm not even kidding. Looks for Wilson. That's good. Decent from Callum Wilson. A chance late on in the game. Still Callum Wilson going for goal. Forces a big save out of Alisson. That's one of our first chances of the second half, honestly. We haven't been able to test Alisson all that much. Oh, no, 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 no. I can see Callum Wilson in the mud right now. 90th minute. Referee, blow the whistle. Has he blown the whistle for full time? Because there's a glitch which might help us survive the injury. But I think Callum Wilson is injured i think he is and it's a serious injury by the looks of things this is the last thing we needed my god we'll do this for now oh god oh god let's hope it's not a serious one because if it is oh it's going to be brutal for the rest of our season he's been our top scorer this season boys 
This is a big problem. Full time and I, I don't even care about the defeat right now. The only thing that matters is what's up with Callum Wilson. Let's find out. I want to cry. I legit want to cry right now. It's the first one of this series, but we've been hit with the ACL curse. Callum Wilson is out for the next seven months. Seven freaking months. That's his season done. And probably Callum Wilson is done in this career mode as well. I just don't see him recovering from this being 29-30. My god, this is actually painful. Yikes. Honestly, man. Honestly. He... He's been so good for us this season. Look at him there, competing with Timo Werner at the top of the Premier League and his season's over. And how are we going to even cope without him? We stole Joe Linton thinking that this would never happen, but well, it, it had to happen, you know? Huh. This has thrown a complete throw through, what do you call it, you know, a curveball for us in this series, man. How do we even deal with this? I think the only solution is using St. Maximin as a striker and Ryan Fraser out left. That's the only thing that makes sense to me right now, but this is genuinely painful. I think next season, striker has got to be the key, because 7 months, plus he's going to lose a lot in his overall. Yep, a striker next season is going to be the play. I think our plan for the rest of the episode in the Prem is to sim the games against Fulham and Palace, since we don't really have much to play for on the Prem. We'll play the game against Leicester, because it's at home. One more home win, and that completes one of our objectives for the sponsorship, so... We'll get that done. Okay, scouting players from Mexico might have been a bad idea because literally the best potential I've seen is 73. We're not getting any Santiago Munes from this at this rate. We'll see how things go in the next few months. We're simulating this one with our first team with, of course, Saint Maximin playing up top as our striker. Let's see what happens in this. How? How? Just, just how? Honestly, how have we lost to Fulham? I don't get the quick sim feature, man. I seriously don't. And now we've taken back-to-back -back L's in the Premier League. Let's hope we can fix that. We're up against Leicester City now. And I want to see a good performance here. And hopefully win. Let's get back to winning ways. Let's put all the bad news aside. We've got an FA Cup semi-finals coming up soon. So a win here would do good for the morale of the team. I'm using Saint Maximin up top as the striker. Shard is back captaining the team. Conde is 80 rated by the way, Buendia has gone up in his overall, Calvin Phillips as well, some good player growth all round, let's kick the game off. Callum Wilson's injury news has definitely hit this squad hard, but that's, that's no excuse to, you know, lose back-to-back -back games in the Premier League and just completely throw in the towel. We've got to win here, and I'm hoping we can do it. I mean, Leicester are a good team, but they're 8th in the Premier League, so they're not that far ahead of us. I think we've got what it takes to beat them. Now here goes Miguel Almiron. This is what you want to see. We may have to change our approach while attacking with no Callum Wilson. Maybe trying and playing the ball to feet for Saint Maximin is the way forward because of how good he is on the ball with his dribbling and he's showing that right there but couldn't beat um, the defender but Leicester clear the ball away. That's a good pass for Saint Maximin and I see Buendia making that run as well but I think I played that a bit too early. Uh, the attack's gone and the worst thing is Leicester hitting us on the break with Cengiz Onda looking to bring it inside. Now it's Vardy. Oh my god, how have we let him through? He goes for the cheeky chip and he's pulled it off. Leicester City have taken the lead at St. James's Park. We're completely throwing away our season here. This could be our third straight defeat in the Prem. In fact, fourth counting that Man United game in the last episode. My god. What is going on, guys? Like, honestly. Looking for Ryan Fraser, who's broken through. Big chance. Fraser goes for goal. He's missed. Ryan Fraser. All season, he's not really been given the chance to be a starter. Maybe this is why a big miss, man. We can't afford to waste chances against the team as good as Leicester. Absolute disaster of a first half. I mean, the news of Wilson being injured has kind of affected us. And we're not playing good FIFA, man. We really aren't. We're 1-0 down to Leicester, and if this is how we turn up in the FA Cup semi-finals, we're going to get booted out of Wembley, guys. No kidding. Second half has got to be better. You know what? In a game like this, I kind of feel like we just need someone to get into the box more often. Joe Willick is that player, so I'm bringing him on. I'm also going to bring on Longstaff for John Joe Shelby and see what's up. Phillips again. St. Maximin, this is big. Goes for goal, takes a deflection, and it's in. Let's go. We get the goal. Finally, we've worked so hard for it. Nothing has worked for us in this game at all, but finally we get one chance. St. Maximin behind the Leicester defense takes the shot, takes a couple of weird deflections, but in the end it's in the back of the net, and that's exactly what matters. Calvin Phillips providing for that, but 
I don't know how that went in. Probably a handball from one of the Leicester players regardless. The goal is going to go for St. Maximin. It's ninth in the Prem this season. That's big. It's 1-1. Let's now push for the winner. Game, give me one last chance before you blow the final whistle. One last chance is all I'm asking. And Miguel Almiron is driving through. Still Almiron. Bit of space to shoot, but he drags his shot wide. Wait, did he get taken down? I don't think so. Nope, it's not a foul. Nothing. The game has just come to an end. I'm kind of okay with this result. I know a draw is... Uh, you'd probably expect more from a Newcastle team that have been in great form this season. Or at least up until now. But we really fought back after being 1-0 down. The morale's been low for the team after the Wilson injury. But we really fought back and, you know, got ourselves a draw from this game. That should give us a good confidence boost for the FA Cup semi-finals. So... I guess it's an important point in that way. If we don't beat 17th place Crystal Palace in a quick sim game, I'd be fuming and we just about beat them 4-3 with Fabian Shah scoring what? A brace and John Joe Shelby coming up clutch with another couple. I'm happy we won this game guys, but cutting it close. We're still 10th in the Premier League. I mean, why do I even bother checking this Premier League table? Four games to go this season. We may have a shot at, you know, finishing above Arsenal, but basically impossible to finish above Everton or get that 8th spot which is a real bummer but still 10th in the Premier League in our first season getting a top half finish I think is clutch now all that's left is to see what happens in the FA Cup do we have a chance to win a trophy it's by the way Leicester City who are making it to the final who we could be facing if we can somehow get past Liverpool I'm going to give it my everything in this game. The good news is that they're not playing Virgil van Dijk for this game and Matip is super low on stamina. The attackers are low on stamina as well. And stuff like this could be what defines how this game plays. So, very happy to see that. Looking at our team, St. Maximin plays up top, of course, no Wilson. But look at some of the overall boosts we're getting because of player morale. A plus six on Buendia, a plus six on Almiron, a plus three on Fraser, a plus five on Phillips. All that is superb to see and I'm ready for this boys. This is it. A chance to make it to the finals of the FA Cup. Our first trip to Wembley in this series. Let's hope we can make it count. Here we are guys. Our first trip to Wembley this season. Hopefully the first of many. We beat them of course here. We're going to Wembley again for the FA Cup final. This, this is going to be epic man. I didn't expect in our first season to reach the FA Cup semi-finals but we got so lucky with the draw. Like, look at this. We matched up against Millwall and Preston uh, up until this point, and that's been super helpful. But we're now here against Liverpool. If somehow we can beat them, oh, imagine the scenes. I wish we had Callum Wilson available for this game. I'd be pretty confident about our chances then, because Wilson is so good in this game for me. But oh well, that's just how, you know, it goes. We didn't have the luck. He picked up an injury and we're just going to have to deal with it. Wendia and I'm seeing St. Maximin make a run. An early chance for us, St. Maximin. No way. How is Alisson saving that? Are we again going to waste incredible chances against Liverpool? Nah, man, that can't be happening. St. Maximin again shoots. This time shot gets blocked. That should have been a goal. St. Maximin was through 1v1. Callum Wilson, I think 100% would have scored that. We can't be thinking like that because we're just going to keep blaming that uh, in this game then. Oh, it's so frustrating, you know. Still Mo Salah. Looks for the pass inside. No, Wijnaldum again. No rebound. Come on. It fell perfectly for Henderson. And Liverpool have taken the lead in the FA Cup semi-finals. Wait, no, it's offside? I thought something was messed up there. Who was offside in this? I'm confused. Let's take a look again. Oh, Henderson was... Quite a bit offside there. Oh, we, that's a big let off, guys. That is a huge let off for us. Oh my god, they're breaking through again. Not freaking Wijnaldum. Jules Conde did as well to deal with him. But he gets it again. What kind of juju this is for Wijnaldum, man? Everything falls perfectly for him every time. Fabian Shah, thankfully, with the tackle. This has been way too intense for my liking, man, honestly. Half time and it's nil nil in this FA Cup semi final. Super intense game. We had that chance with St. Maximin that I'm just regretting not taking. Uh, second half, we've just got to stay in it and take our chances. If we don't take our chances, we've got no hope. Because Liverpool are looking decent in this one. Bring on the second half. Wendia, oh, that is a smart pass for Ryan Fraser. He's got the pace. We don't have that number nine in the box. So I'm going to try and bring it inside. Now Almiron. We want to get it onto his left foot, but that's not working. So I'm going to find St. Maximin. Let's see if he can get in behind here. He just about... Now nah, we've ruined it. Oh, we haven't. He still keeps it in. Looks for Shelby. Back for Almiron. Can he turn and maybe shoot? 
Goes for goal. It takes a few deflections. Offside. Oh, what am I doing in the final third, man? Smart pass inside for Buendia. Now St. Maximin in acres of space. This is the moment. St. Maximin 1v1. Alisson again. No. Why, man? Why am I so wasteful? St. Maximin has had two brilliant chances in this game to send Newcastle to a cup final and he's choked on both. We cannot afford to make mistakes like this. Looks for St. Maximin, looking much more comfortable on that side of the pitch as he tries and brings it inside for Shelby. If Shelby can turn and shoot, it gets blocked, but we still have the ball. The chance is still with Newcastle. Shelby, Fraser, Buendia. Now St. Maximin and I see Jamal Lewis doing really well. This could lead to something. Jamal Lewis cut back for Shelby. That pass was horrendous and the attack is gone. Of all players, it's John Joe Shelby on the ball now. Buendia, St. Maximin. This is it. This is the moment he makes amends for his mistakes. Ah, oh, the shot is not good enough and Alisson collects. I think we're going to extra time in this game, guys. I've got a feeling that's going to happen. There's Buendia. I need Fraser to make that run. Ryan Fraser has made the run and this is superb. We know he's got the pace. Ryan Fraser now 1v1. Can he score? He literally shot it straight at Alisson. What is this finishing from our attackers, man? Like, can they even put some power behind their shots? Like, is this some sort of a sick joke? We should be winning this game. No, no doubts about it. We've been the better team, but my finishing has cost me. Uh, oh, how much are we missing Callum Wilson? It's not the end, though, because we've got a minute to go. Liverpool with the ball. If they score now, I'll legit cry. Please, please don't make that happen. Thiago looks inside for Mane. Firmino back for Mane. Fabian Shah saves us and I'm just clearing it away. That should be full time and well, we're going to extra time at Wembley in the FA Cup semi-finals. Buendia has really put in a shift tonight, but I think he needs a bit of rest. So Willock comes on, Longstaff comes on as well. This is it boys, 30 minutes and we could be in an FA Cup final. Let's do it. Willock with a neat pass for St. Maximin. Willock gets that again, right place, right time for Joe Willock. Find St. Maximin. Looks for Miguel Almiron, now it's Max Adams. Cutback, why are the cutbacks so bad? That was a simple pass back for Miguel Almiron and he screwed that up. Although Fabian shot us really well to win that. Backwards for Adams. And now it's St. Maximin. I'm taking it wide. Still St. Maximin. Ah, oh, he couldn't play the pass inside for Almiron. Ah, the second half of this extra time is going the same way as the entire 90 minutes, man. We're just so wasteful in the final third and that's going to cost us i can feel it we're already going into the second half of extra time here this is scary it's going to be penalties isn't it penalties in our first season in an fa cup semi-finals couldn't get any more hectic but first let's see what happens in these remaining 15 minutes we go saint maximin a magic moment now from him could mean the world long stuff look at how deep liverpool have gone now long stuff what are you doing mate that was a simple pass for Joe Willock and you've just given it right back to Liverpool. These silly mistakes, they're really going to cost us, aren't they? Oh my god, Salah's broken through. This is it. It's, it's over for us. Dubravka, you hero. What a save from Dubravka. He's just saved us from misery right there. Oh my god, and now St. Maximin could be through on goal. 1v1. He's going for the chip. Is that in? Is that in? No, it's off the post. I can't believe this. No, I want to cry right now. I seriously want to cry. My god, and the fact that it went so slowly off the post just to make it even more agonizingly painful. Wow, man, what a moment. We can't let our heads drop though because there's still time left. There's a freaking fly around here as well to make things worse. What even is going on right now? Just a minute to go. Is that over? Is that the game done? Or do we have one more chance? I think it's penalties. We could have won this game with that same maximum chance. It came off the post. The keeper charged there. I had no choice but to go in for the chip. Huh, it's penalties, guys. This is going to be so stressful. I ain't ready for this. Can Dubravka be the hero for us in this penalty shootout? The first one is perfect from Liverpool. That's not good news for us. I'm going to take this one with Fabian Shah. And that's another decent pen. Let's go 1-1. One, one. Mo Salah up against Dubravka. I'm going left again. And I made the save. Let's go. Huge save from Dubravka. We're in the lead here. That's what's up. I'm going to try and put this one there. Solid pen from Ryan Fraser. We're 2-1 up in this penalty shootout. Come on, Dubravka. Continue to be the hero. Thiago, you cheeky man. He went down the middle and scores. Miguel Almiron. I'm going left. Come on, Almiron. Put this in. Yo, saucy pen from him. Guesses the right way. Now, 
Mane versus Dubrovka. Mane scores. The pressure is building up, boys. Calvin Phillips. I'm going to try and go top corner. Is this going to work? It is going to work. Not quite top corner. If we save this penalty, we're in an FA Cup semi-finals. No two ways about it. But if we miss... Yikes. It's going to be painful. Let's see. Origi to take this one. Come on. Origi scores, but it's still in our hands. I completely forgot. It's still in our hands. We score here with St. Maximin. Gucci gang. We're winning and going to the FA Cup final. Come on, St. Maximin. Put this in. I'm going right. I'm going right. St. Maximin puts it in. Let's freaking go, guys. St. Maximin sends us to an FA Cup final. I cannot believe what's just happened here. We have knocked out Liverpool from the FA Cup just about on penalties and way through to the finals and we'll be meeting, meeting Leicester City. It's freaking what? Six in the morning and I'm recording this and my voice is gone. This is just insane. What has transpired in this game is just nuts. From St. Maximin hitting the post and the ball just crinkling away from the net. Oh my god. To him of course scoring the winning penalty. Fitting finish. We're in an FA Cup final, guys. Come on. Seriously can't believe what's happened in this episode, man. It's just incredible. But we're in an FA Cup final. And I'm actually fancying my chances here against Leicester. This is going to be epic. Tomorrow's episode is going to be a bumper one, guys. Because I think we're going to try and wrap up the entire season in the next one. Big stuff, you know, with our sponsorships and all that. We're going to decide all that in the next episode. Cannot wait for it. Quick look at our sponsors tab. So far, we're still that one win away from completing the Jeep objective. So we need to get that done. But top 10 at the table is, is definitely going to happen. So there's that. I don't think Heineken is happening this season. So it's between Jeep and Burger King. We'll see which one to go with. But yeah, sponsorship thing going well. Player of the episode for me has to be a defender today because I thought Fabian Shaw or even Dubravka. These two are the key choices. The saves Dubravka made and how solid Fabian Shaw was in the overall game against Liverpool. It's got to be one of those two. Let me know in the comment section who should be played of the episode. With that, guys, this is where we're wrapping up today's episode of the Newcastle Career Mode series. If you're enjoying this series, I'd really appreciate it if you could spare a second and drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. I'll catch you all next time.